health officials, oncologists, cancer organizations, cancer survivors and other individuals will join together in observing World Cancer Day on February 4th under the theme Closing the Cake Gap. World Cancer Day is commemorated with the aim of creating awareness centered around identifying and addressing the barriers that exist in people accessing quality cancer care. Consultant oncologist at the Millennium Heights Medical Complex, Dr. Owen Gabriel, placed great emphasis on ensuring there is access to quality cancer care, such as screening, early detection, and treatment for everyone. From the standpoint of governments and NGOs, it is important that we have those facilities and services available, like mammograms that are available to the population at risk, um, free of charge, as well as um, the uh, availability of pap smears, um, prostate examinations, and so on, to populations at risk. So it, it, we need to have that within our primary healthcare setting, as well as our secondary healthcare setting, so that those patients who are diagnosed early can be treated adequately. President of Faces of Cancer St. Lucia, Dorothy Phillip, highlighted what her future hopes are for closing the cancer care gap in St. Lucia. In the UK, every cancer person that's diagnosed, they do gene sequencing on that person, where they could match up the person's genes with all the modalities and all the drugs for the person's cancer and whichever has the higher percentage that is what is being used for that person but in St. Lucia we far off we are not nowhere close to be doing gene sequencing right here as yet so that is one of the very important things I would like to see brought into St. Lucia in order to close the care gap and I would like it to be for everybody not just privately, but in the public sector also. Dr. Owen Gabriel also called on individuals to play their part and to do the necessary screening for cancer. I think it's important that every individual becomes cognizant of whatever risk factors they may have as individuals, as part of a family, and as part of the environment within which they, they work. For example, we know that prostate cancer can be inherited from father to son and so on within the, the family. We know that persons who work in high-risk areas, if you're exposed to pesticides, say like um, farmers, if you're exposed to certain environmental risk factors, radiations and so on, which could um, lead to the development of cancer. So individuals have to make that conscious effort to get checked annually, at least, get screened so that we can get early detection um, and then have a good outcome once we detect that cancer. The Ministry of Health proudly supports the World Cancer Day campaign of addressing inequalities in cancer care and reducing the impact of cancer. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Funnel Neptune.